Today, we're going to make Koli Pizza. The pizza crust is crispy and easy to make. I've done this many times before, but um, it wasn't that nice. So this time, I've decided to do a few tweaks to my original recipe so that it'll turn out nice. There are four tips and one secret ingredient. So you might be wondering, what is Koli Pizza? Remember, we made uh, Koli rice before in one of my videos. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this Koli rice concept and then make it into a pizza. We start by microwaving the Koli rice as in my previous video and we leave it to cool. Put the cauliflower into a nut bag or a calico bag like the one I have now. Then squeeze out the liquid. Set it aside and repeat until you finish squeezing all the coli rice. To the coli rice, add the eggs. I use two small eggs. Mix it well and add some dried herbs. You can use dried basil or Italian herbs or oregano. Season with salt. Give it a good mix with your hand. Make sure the seasoning is well distributed. On a line baking tray, divide the collie mixture into two. I try to make it about palm size as there is no gluten to hold the thing together. If the pizza is too big, the crust might be floppy. Make sure the crust is of even thickness and you might want to give it a raised edge. Put it in a preheated oven 200 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes or so, depending on your oven. Here are the toppings. Fresh basil from my garden, a 200 gram pack of grated mozzarella, some leftover pork from Sunday rolls, sliced chestnut mushrooms, sliced red onions, I use short-bought pasta sauce that I have in my cupboard. You can use short-bought pizza sauce or you can make your own. Right, here is the pizza crust. This is a bit brown at the edges. Reduce the time in the oven if you don't want such a crusty edge. I flip the crust over because I don't want a soggy bottom. Place a few tablespoons of the sauce on each of the pizza. If you like my video so far, please hit the subscribe button and share and don't forget the notification button too. Top with the mushrooms, sliced pork and the onions. Sprinkle with a generous amount of mozzarella. Top with some of the fresh basil and bake in the oven for about 15 minutes or until the cheese melts. Mmm, this looks so crispy and yummy. Let's cut it then. Mmm, I wonder what's the secret ingredient? Sprinkle with more fresh basil and serve. Sprinkle over with some extra virgin olive oil to get the full flavour. Let's try it! I'm going to put some black pepper. You can sprinkle with some parmesan cheese if you want. And to give it a Chinese twist, I'm adding salted egg yolk. Wow! If you like it a bit saltier, you can sprinkle some salt, but to me it's just nice. See the crust here? It's crispy. It's really, really lovely. It's like the real thing. So that's my easy collie pizza, which is low in carbohydrate and is also known as keto. Here's the summary. 1. Squeeze out the water. 2. Bake till the crust is dry. 3. Flip the crust over. and 4. Use fresh herbs. For the secret ingredient, 
Try using salted egg yolks instead of parmigiano. I'll put the recipe link in the video description box. So, I hope you like it and I'm very happy with today's result because I've tried it previously and it wasn't nice at all. But this is really, really good. So until the next time, until the next recipe, I'm Loretta Lee, Nonya Recipe. Nonya Recipe is a fine place for fabulous food. <coughs> I'm still coughing. Nonya Recipe is a fine place for fabulous food and I share with you my food journey. So don't forget to click like and hit the subscribe button and share if you find my video of value. And if you want to get more recipes, click here. Until then, bye. See you. Thank 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 you.